Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. Today I want to talk to you about uh, processing deer and specifically I want to talk to you about what you should talk to your processor about how you should have your deer processed. At least this is what I suggest. Um, you cannot process a deer the same way that you process pork or beef because the bone marrow in pork and beef actually tastes good and enhances the flavor of the meat. The bone marrow in wild game does not. It actually will make it really bad. So that's really important that you don't go into it and process it the same way that you do uh, beef or pork. So this is the way that I have mine processed and the way I process. I actually process uh, probably 80 to 90 percent of mine myself right here at home. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. But um, when I do take mine to the processor, I generally tell them that I want the back strap, which is the meat that goes right along the spine above the rib cage, which is about your best choice steaks. I tell them that I want the back straps uh, left whole, or I tell them that I want them turning the steaks. If I want to put the back strap on the smoker, then I just have them leave it whole, and I'll take that back strap, wrap it in bacon, and throw it on the smoker. Um, if I want to do steaks with it, then I'll just have them cut it into steaks. Generally, they'll cut it into uh, either small steaks, you know, slice it. Uh, slice it down the length of the uh, back strap or they'll cut it into butterflies. Either way, it doesn't really matter, it's going to taste the same. Uh, the hind quarter is a little bit different now. In the hind quarter, you can have two things done with your, you can have it, the whole thing cut into steaks and the excess cut into, uh, made into burger. Or you can have, there are two roasts in the back, it's basically the, the ham of the back uh, hind quarter. You can have that taken out and left whole, and you'll have a pretty good sized ham depending on the deer that you can either put on a smoker or you can put in a crock pot or something like that. We like to do those. Uh, I like to smoke them. I like to put them on a cro in the crock pot both, and I can have those cut or I can have those left whole. If not, I can have those cut up into steaks. Now, the front shoulders on a white-tailed deer, I generally have that, the neck, all the other meat, just ground up into burger and made into my extras like uh, deer sticks, jerky, and summer sausages because we eat a lot of that. My son loves deer sticks and of course I give uh, some to the landowners that, I, that I'm hunting on so that goes a long way you know, toward, toward getting me to hunt another year and, and everybody loves summer sausages and deer sticks and stuff like that so that's what I have done with the rest. So when I go to a, to a butcher uh, or to a processor I tell them the very first thing I tell them is I want this deer deboned. I want the bone out. I want the back straps cut into steaks or left hole. I want the hind quarters turned into steaks and the uh, roasts either turned into steaks or left hole. Then I want the front shoulders and everything else turned into burger, jerky, summer sausage, or deer sticks, whatever they are. So that's how I have my deer processed. The most important part of that is having the bone out because that is where the bad flavor comes from. Uh, any processor that leaves the bone in, if you've ever had deer meat and thought, man, this is gamey and this is terrible tasting and I don't like it, it's probably because they left the bone in. The marrow from, from a deer um, just tastes terrible. If you leave the bone in, it will taste absolutely horrible. If you take the bone out and you don't leave the marrow in there or you, you don't leave the bone in there, the deer that I process and the deer that I have taken to processors, you can't tell the difference in that and beef. Um, the flavor is really the same. I could cook uh, a steak on the uh, on my grill, or I could cook a, a back strap on the grill, and you're not going to tell the difference in the flavor. I'm going to season both of them the same, and you're not going to tell the difference. You're not going to taste that gamey taste. Um, you're not even going to know it's deer. So that's the most important thing is have them debone it. So uh, you get rid of that gamey flavor. Now, if you want to do this stuff at home, I was lucky enough to learn from a processor, uh, a guy who knew, he worked in a slaughterhouse, he knew how to slaughter uh, beef, knew what to do with them. So uh, we, we transitioned that over to deer, and he taught us all deer. If you want to learn how to do it yourself, I recommend this DVD right here, which is Deer and Big Game Processing. I picked this up on Amazon. Like I said, I knew how to do this, but I want to see what this guy done different than what I did. And really, I wanted to see what I could do to make mine look more professional and make the right cuts, make sure everything was looking good. And even though I've been doing my own deer for several years and done a lot of deer, I did learn a lot. This is produced and stars uh, Brad Lockwood 
Uh, he's a, a host of Love of the Hunt, and he's been processing for a long time. Um, Brad does an exceptional job of explaining everything. This thing is three hours long. He does a really good job of explaining everything and shows you firsthand how to do it, uh, up close images, and really does a good job of showing you how to process your own deer and get the most out of your deer, which is what's the most important part to me. So deer and big game processing. Um, the one thing that Brad recommends in this that I don't agree with is outdoor edge knife. No, they're okay, um, but I found better knives out there. I've, I've had some outdoor edge knives, and uh, I just have a hard time keeping them keeping them sharp. So um, other than that, the, the DVD from Brad is is amazing, and it is an outstanding. Cost me about 15 bucks, and the investment was definitely worth it. Because like I said, three hours of uh, footage in there, really detailed, and tells you how to do it. And you know, you can do it at at home, and you can do a really good job of it. Takes some time. It is time consuming, but it saves you. It cost me. 120 to 150 dollars to have someone do a deer depending on how much jerky i have made and summer sausage and stuff like that you know it's gonna it's gonna vary if i just go take my deer out and have it processed and don't have anything special done to it it still costs me about 75 to 100 dollars so um this 14 dollars dvd and buying some just basic supplies you can process your own deer at home and uh do a really good job of it just by what you've learned here so that's my advice when it comes to processing deer. It's you know rifle season now, and the deer harvest numbers are getting ready to go way up. A lot of you guys out there are going to be harvesting deer with your rifle, and if you've had deer and you you uh, didn't like it, you know, or you're one of these guys who uh, who loves to hunt but just doesn't like the, the taste of deer, try it this way. Have them debone that, and I guarantee you, we love deer. My wife loves deer. My son loves deer. You know, people come over to the house all the time. We barbecue and uh, I'll slow cook deer and you know everyone loves it and i've had a lot of people who have tried the deer meat that i processed or had processed and say that they've never had deer that good before and i think the key is they've had deer that's had the bone in and the, the marrow from that bone has just ruined the taste of that deer so so if you're going to have a deer processed have them debone it and have them do it right and i guarantee you you'll enjoy the taste of it quite a bit more than one that's got the bone in it so if you want to do it yourself pick up this uh, deer and big game processing awesome awesome resource and absolutely i learned a lot even though i've been doing it for years so definitely check this out i picked it on up on amazon for about 15 bucks so uh, for more product reviews how-to videos you can check out our website ikesoutdoors.com and for our hunting videos you can check out our hunting website which is huntwithike.com appreciate you guys watching